No one will hear you if you scream out loud for help in outer space. Sound waves are simply unable to reach our ears due to the lack of air or any other medium. Perhaps it's all for the best, because if we really heard what our planet and other cosmic objects sound like, the human psyche might have a very hard time dealing with that. Still, how exactly does the Earth sound? Will we ever get to enjoy the music made by distant galaxies? Perhaps the loudest sound made by our planet originates from the very depths of the Earth. The molten core creates a magnetosphere that protects us from the effects of the ionized particles of solar wind. The stronger the solar wind, the louder the hum of the magnetosphere. When the charged elementary particles of the solar wind, together with cosmic rays, bounce off the magnetic field, some of them go back towards the radiation of our star. This leads to instability of the plasma and produces powerful magnetosonic waves. Scientists succeeded in translating the waves into sound, so a kind of song of the sun and the Earth was born. Our planet's polar residents are even able to see these sounds. What you heard a few seconds ago is an echo of a fairly calm interaction between the magnetosphere and the solar wind. Such sounds become a lot louder when a real storm sets in leading to the occurrence of the amazing northern or southern lights. Charged particles of the solar wind glide in huge numbers at a speed 10 times the speed of sound across the Earth's magnetosphere, entering the atmosphere at the poles and interacting with its gases. As a result of this action, the atmospheric oxygen begins to glow in green and red while nitrogen emits blue and violet light. In turn, some particles enter the atmosphere not from the solar wind or cosmic rays, but during the appearance of meteorites as they leave behind a trail of particles that reflect radio signals. It dissipates in just a few seconds, but if there's a whole meteor shower, then a real symphony is created. All space objects emit their own electromagnetic waves, which can also be converted into sounds. Of course, without interacting with the Earth's magnetic field, the Sun does not sound so impressive. However, these low-frequency oscillations allow us to study the complex phenomena occurring inside our star. For example, solar flares. Jupiter is a different story. Juno, NASA's space probe, succeeded in recording the sounds of the largest planet in the solar system. Juno traversed through solar wind, which had a density that averaged about 66 particles per cubic inch, or four particles per cubic centimeter. After penetrating deep into the magnetic field and approaching the gas giant, the number of particles increased, resulting in characteristic sounds. Jupiter turned out to be a powerful sound generator. The magnetic field of Jupiter is the largest formation in the solar system and extends outward to a length five times the distance from the Sun to the Earth. As the solar wind crosses outer space at an incredible speed of between 186 to 621 miles or 300 to 1,000 kilometers per second, its collision with huge obstacles causes an entire storm of magnetic waves. Perhaps the eeriest sounds are made by Saturn. They're formed by the interaction of the ring planet with its satellite Enceladus, which acts as a kind of generator of electromagnetic waves. Enceladus is located inside the magnetic field of Saturn and emits jets of water vapor. The water vapor then turns into charged particles that fill the entire space around the planet. Saturn responds with emissions of numerous plasma waves in turn, 
When met with charged particles, these waves create a series of really scary sounds. The same thing happened when Saturn interacts with its own rings. The Moon and the Earth do not create such a sound, since our satellite, unlike Enceladus, is located outside the magnetic field of its planet. At the same time, the most harmless noise recorded was caused by the intentional collision of part of a space probe with a comet. Actually, more precisely, from what was left of that comet, approximately 5,000 particles formed from chunks of ice and dust that broke away from Comet Tempel-1 and were attacking NASA's Stardust spacecraft for 11 minutes. The most astonishing fact is that scientists were able to simulate sounds that arose about 13.8 billion years ago. John Kramer of the University of Washington in Seattle produced the Big Bang Noise. It could be compared to the sound of a powerful 9.0 magnitude earthquake covering our entire planet. Only in the case of the Big Bang, the rumble swept across the entire early universe and its echoes still reach earthly devices today. Gap of as much as 380,000 years is recorded in a 100-second audio file, meaning that each and every second captures 3,000 years. Another equally loud event occurred at a distance of 1.3 billion light years from Earth. Two black holes, each 30 times the mass of our Sun, merged into one. As the black holes were approaching each other, they spun faster and faster. As a result of this tremendous acceleration, part of the masses of the black holes turned into energy that reached our planet in the form of gravitational waves. Now, we're able to hear the collision of black holes. To be able to hear all of these sounds in outer space, you'll need at least a radio or some other kind of special listening equipment. After all, the human ear isn't able to pick up electromagnetic waves, since it only perceives air vibrations. Therefore, without any special devices, you'll only be able to hear those sounds that occur when foreign objects collide with your spacesuit. You most likely will hear a knock if you get close to a satellite, or if a small piece of an asteroid hits your spacesuit. In this case, an environment for sound waves to travel is created by the fabric of your spacesuit and the air inside of it. However, if the same thing transpires for your friend, who just so happens to be about 32 feet or 10 meters away from you, and he comes under attack by several dozen small stones, you won't hear anything. At the same time, your friend may be deafened by the noise if the impacts of the stones on his suit are strong enough. If for some reason you forgot to wear your spacesuit, you'll have a chance to hear these final sounds through so-called bone conduction before you die in the vacuum of space. The bones of the skull are capable of transmitting sounds into the inner ear, bypassing the eardrum. In this case, there's no need for air to be present in order for a sound wave to travel. It's simply enough to touch your jaw to the source of the sound. However, taking the risk of an almost 100% chance of dying without a spacesuit, well, it's hardly worth it. Fortunately, NASA took care of this so we don't have to, and over the past decade has created a diverse and often creepy soundtrack of space. Before perceiving this dissonance of the universe, various sounds from the Earth were first sent into space by NASA. 
a gold-plated disc containing images of our planet and Earth sounds was placed on board the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 space probes way back in 1977. The disc contains sounds such as a mother's whisper, a baby's cry, the sound of the wind, the sounds of birds and animals, volcanic eruptions, as well as music by Bach, Mozart, and other famous composers. Even so, the technology of the ancient civilizations that these recordings are intended to reach are likely incompatible with the records carried by the two spacecraft. It's quite possible that in the future all space tourists will be provided with applications that will convert the electromagnetic waves of planets and stars, as well as the gravitational pulsations of black holes into audible sounds. And each of us will have the opportunity to enjoy the music of the most distant galaxies at any time. What kind of space music would be number one on your playlist? And what sound from today's release impressed you the most? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Click on the bell to receive timely notifications of new, interesting, and fascinating videos that are waiting for you ahead. Until next time.